In this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate narrative reporting within Google Sheets to go straight from SQL to Gemini with an output in Google Sheets, all driven by pressing a button in Google Sheets. So let me show you how it works. So this is my report here. What I need to do is I need to press a button in here, which is refresh report and data. And what this script will do is it'll pull a script from Google BigQuery. It's essentially just this script here. And then what it will do is it'll take that and it will send that to Google Gemini. I've put a pre-prompt in. It'll take the Gemini output out. It's gonna format that and then it's gonna put that into a report. I've done a video, last video I've done was how to pull reports in from BigQuery. So I'm not gonna go too deep into that. I'll be going deeper into the prompt in this video. If you wanna watch that video, it's up above now. And now into my code.json. First thing I wanna do is I wanna set a project up here. So whatever your project name is, put it in there. I've left the space for that in the script I have again out on GitHub. The first function we have is the auth function. This is boilerplate. It's essentially just authenticates your Google Cloud project and then sends through a token. And then I want to fetch the BigQuery data, putting in a query in here. That query then gets pulled and then the result is this result.rows. I want to get the active spreadsheet and I want to get the sheet name raw data. If that's not there, I'm gonna create it. And if it is there, I'm gonna clear it. So that's why you've seen the sheet being cleared of all data before the new data goes in. And these are just two different sections here. This is how I set my headers and this is how I set my rows. Now, the second part is how I then get this data into Gemini and then ping it back to the Google Sheet. So the first thing I want to do is get the active spreadsheet. I'm finding the raw data sheet and then I'm getting the values from that raw data sheet. I'm also creating a sheet called report. If that doesn't, if that exists, I'm just clearing it. So down into the um, Google Gemini part, which again is boilerplate. You just take this word for word off the GitHub. What I'm doing there is I'm passing a user token across and then I'm making a query to the URL. This is Gemini 1.5 and I'm making it to generate content. My role equals user and then the parts is I'm putting in the chat is a prompt plus the raw data I've just pulled. So my prompt is you're a public policy expert. I'm providing you with this data, write a report on the improvements and negative movements from the period and include the absolute percentages and write a five point plan. And then I'm adding the data in at the end. So that prompt would be quite large going over to Gemini. And then when that comes back, which is the response here, I am then dealing with format of that because that's gonna come out in Markdown. So that comes out like this. If a line starts with these two, I know it needs to be a H2 uh, heading. So I've taken out each line and I've, for each line I'm going through, if it starts with this, I'm going to set these parameters here. So I've got certain lines that start with three hashes. I've got certain lines that start with two hashes. So the two hash lines here, what I'm doing is I'm replacing the two hash with, with nothing. So that'll get rid of the hash, but it'll take the text. It's gonna set that font to bold, set the font size to 16 and send, set a silver background there and everything else is just going down and doing that for all the different markdown symbols so this is the two hash this has been changed to bold 16 and um, that gray background there and then finally i just have a little bit of regular expression in here and that's just to deal with asterisks here where it doesn't start with the two stars. And another few things I'm doing is I am setting a column width of 1100 pixels indentation. So I'm setting some column width here and I'm indenting a column before. So that's this column here and I'm putting a bit of indent into that. And I'm setting up an on open function which just sets up this, this menu in here. So I've got authenticate, I've got refresh report, I've got refresh data, but really I'm gonna use this generate report function which first will auth, then it's gonna fetch the BigQuery data, 
and then it's gonna format the report by running this whole script. So there's loads of options with this. So we can have the user set some prompts and set the parameters. And we can also have the output going to docs and we can have the output going to slides to kind of do an end-to-end -end process. And I'm gonna go over all of that in the next couple of videos. So I hope you found that useful. Follow for more.